What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with Zero. Welcome to episode 15 of our Pokemon Ultra Sun Wonderlock. Last time we made our way through route number 8 in preparing for the fourth grand trial, or the fourth trial that we have coming up. Today's episode, we're going to be taking on said fourth trial. If you're checking out our Ultra Sun Wonderlock, I appreciate it so much. I really don't have anything else to say. Just let me know down below if you're enjoying. Now, I'm a little worried about this. Oh wait, hold on, before we do anything, stop, stop the intro. I've got shinies that I need to check on. See, they keep despawning. That's why I wanted to do it quickly. That's not one. See, I miss, I didn't miss two of them. I didn't miss two of them now. Gosh darn it. Hold on, hold on, let's see if they respawn. They didn't. Well, fail. One was a plus and one was a Growlithe. Anyway, I'm a little nervous about said trial that we have coming up. Because our Pokemon... I don't know. I don't know about the levels that we have. But we're strapped up because we're definitely going to need this bad boy today. Even though we're using this Z move here. Uh, but anyway... Let's go with a team recap first. First up, um, we have our Curlia from Mr. Death. Uh, Confusion, Disarming Voice, Magical Leaf, Double Team. Uh, with Trace holding the Expert Belt. Next up, we have Muddy, our Mudbray. Uh, with Bulldoze, Stomp, Double Kick, Mud Slap, with Stamina holding the Quick Claw. We have our Japanese Torcat with Fire Fang, Ember, Double Kick, and Fake Out. With Intimidate, Scope Lens. We have our Milotic with Water Pulse, Dragon Pulse, Disarming Voice, and Hypnosis with Cute Charm holding the Water EMZ. And we have our Pinsir, our Japanese Pinsir, um, with Brick Break, Double Hit, Revenge, Focus Energy, with Hyper Cutter holding the Phytini EMZ. And lastly, we have our Japanese Servine with Leaf Tornado, Vine Whip, Glare, Miracle with Overgrow, and Miracle Seed. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! That so looked shiny. They all look shiny. Okay, the Growlithe disappeared again, but we'll get him, we'll get him. Um, held item, give. I'm gonna give you this Fiery MZ. Okay. Next thing is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go to Flame Charge. Flame Charge is a physical move. Do I wanna get. Fire Fang can flinch. Flame Charge speeds up. I might just keep what we have now. I might just keep. Oops. Sorry about that. That's fair. I knew that was gonna to happen too. Uh, oops. I just turned my phone like to sleep. Okay. I need that Growlithe to pop back up. I don't think I want to do Flame Charge. I could do Flame Charge, but Fire Fang is a little stronger, and it may flinch and burn. I think I'm going to stick with... I think I'm going to go without it. Um, and now the other thing I wanted to change is I wanted to give Servine... Is it the Scope Lens that... Oh, that boosts critical hit. Don't I have an item that boosts, uh, uh, accuracy? I think I have a, an attack that boosts accuracy. Oh, I have an, I have something that lowers accuracy. But I had... I don't know. Alright, this will be okay. We must believe in our team. We must believe. Actually, you know what, before we go in there, we can do some training. Let's do some training, because, again, I'm, I'm just a little nervous. I'm just a little nervous, because um, our levels haven't really changed much. Uh, our levels haven't really changed much since we were originally, or since our last trial. They haven't. So, I'm going to try and get Torcat another level or two. See what I'm saying? Like, this thing is level 21. We're gonna be going against the totem, which is probably gonna be like... 
I would imagine it's like level 24, 25. Alright, let's battle all these trainers, and then we'll fly ourselves back up. We'll heal. We'll take it on. So Gen 4 is out in Pokemon Go, which reminds me, I need to catch this Starly that's on the screen. Pokemon Go Community Day is this weekend. I'm super excited. Apparently I had a great throw streak going. That I just accidentally broke. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Just what I needed. Oh. Burn. Okay. This is good. This is a good warm-up to our cat. It's a good warm-up for you. Our cat's getting all warmed up. Now, typically we start these totems with a Z-move. I think the last time we didn't because we were fearing the detect, but I'm pretty sure this totem does not have anything like that. A hyper potion. Oh, I'm so nervous about this trial. What's our next trial after this? Oh! Wait, next we take on a grand trial, don't we? That's scary. Um, I don't think this is the right Pokemon for this. Uh, who is the right Pokemon for this? I'm gonna get- Oh, Curly is actually the perfect Pokemon for this. Who am I- who am I kidding? So I think if it comes down to it, what I can do is I could I can use Servine to glare. I can use Servine to glare. Uh oh. I made a mistake. I have to switch into Muddy and just take the chance of Muddy not being able to live this bide. Alright, hold on. Who's our highest defense? I made a mistake. I was talking. 20, 20 defense, 44, 35, 45, 51. Forty-six. Technically speaking, this is our strongest, but I'm more okay if Muddy goes down. I'm more okay if Muddy goes down. It's really, it's not that, it's, it's only one point. No, it's like six points. I'm gonna switch into Muddy. I can't believe I did that. What was I thinking? Oh no. Okay, hold on. This isn't a good start. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. That's killing me. Wow. I've made a huge mistake. Oh no. I don't think anybody was going to live that, though. I just made a huge mistake. There's nothing else that can be said. I just messed up. I truly just messed up. I don't I don't usually misplay like that. That was a pretty bad misplay. I'm going to get rid of... Uh, I'm going to get rid of Double Kick. Double Kick kind of sucks. And this is a special move and a special and physical fire move. Double Kick kind of sucks. I'd rather have Bite than Double Kick. Wow. Okay, well... No. Garage! I am so tired of this stupid garage door under me! Oh my goodness! I'm not even doing it. I'm not even doing it. I'm so annoyed by this freaking garage door. 
I don't understand how the garage door goes up and down four to six times every day. I hate how the Sylveon was just like standing there afterwards, just like, yep. <laughs> it was all, it was like, good try. Draining kiss. Can you stop? Can you, can you just stop? I'm kind of, I'm kind of annoyed right now because I just let myself lose a Pokemon. And Muddy would have been great in the grand trial that we have coming up, but I think we have enough Pokemon that would have, that would be okay. I can't believe, I, I just... I actually made that mistake. That's crazy. That's just crazy that I would actually make that mistake. Well. What can we do? I guess our only chance is to move on. I think we're going to add the Sneasel to our team. Um, ground type is good for rock. The garage door is about to go again. Disbelief. Disbelief is what? Ooh, you might use fake out. So I'm gonna fake out because I'm probably faster than you. I wonder if he tried to use fake out. I really do. I wonder if he tried to use fake out. Force palm. Alright, Torcat might just be ready for this. Torcat might be ready for this. Having a Sneasel leveled up would probably be great for this too. If we're being honest. Sent out. Why do you gotta rub it in my face immediately afterwards? That's crazy. That's crazy that you just have the Pokemon I just lost, not even five minutes ago. I just have to tell myself to do it. He's not even very good. He ain't, he's not even good. He's not even good. No, what I can say is that I've used him before. So, I know what he's capable of. He's actually very good. But, alright, I'm gonna vine with you. I'm excited to use this. Well, I, I know why we didn't use... Why we didn't use Sneasel originally? Because it's gonna be a Sneasel on our team for a long time. Oh. Brutal Swing, okay. Is there one more trainer? Oh. Get this stupid Diglett away from me. I ain't playing games with this Diglett. I'm so sad. Oh, look. All right. I can be not sad in about two seconds. Nay. Still sad, still very sad. Still very, very, very sad. <gasps> Who knew I was gonna do that? I did, I did, I knew I was gonna do that. And now I'm running into more. This is not my episode! Hopefully we don't lose anybody else. If we can get through the rest of this episode without losing anybody else, which... If we lose someone, it's gonna be Toracat, and that's gonna hurt my heart. Because Toracat... First off, can we talk about how great of a Pokemon Tor... There it is. Can we talk about how great of a Pokemon Torcat is just for a second? He is easily the best middle evolution starter in a long time. Like, it's it fits so well. And it's such a cool design Pokemon. Okay, so I was just thinking about this. What we're going to do, just for this trial, 
is we're gonna call in an old friend. We're gonna call in an old friend since Mudbray unfortunately is the first Pokemon that we've lost. It's the first Pokemon that we've lost! Alright, this is the Howl box, because how on earth did we lose a Pokemon in this game? Muddy, you were actually really good, and I was actually really happy to have you. And you were strong, but you weren't strong enough. Alright, for this gym and this gym only, I think we should add... Actually, you know what? I should add Trumbeak, shouldn't I? Adding Trumbeak would be better than adding this. Maybe. Yeah. Who should we add? Who should we add? Because if we add this, we have a weakness against the totem. Like, we are super effective against the totem. And we... Re if we go here... Then we have a weakness to the Pokemon they call in. Right. Let's add our starter. This was our starter Pokemon. He got switched out as soon as... Like, literally as soon as he could be switched out. He got switched out. Alright. Lush Jungle, here we come. I'm feeling sad. We finally lost a Pokemon. It took us 15 episodes to lose a Pokemon, though. That's really not too bad. That's really not too bad. It took us 15 episodes. <clears throat> Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Mellow. You ready to get in some hot water? My trial is ready for you if you're ready for it. I knew it. The first time I saw you and your team, you've chosen only the finest ingredients. You're the one who got a sparkling stone straight from Tapu Koko, aren't you? I totally get it now. Okay, then, here in Lush Jungle, it's time for Mellow's trial to begin. Oh my gosh, Mellow's trial. Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can just tell what today's special should be. Yep, it's gotta be my secret specialty, the Super Mallow Special. I'm gonna need you to find three ingredients for me. I'll need a mango berry, some honey, and a big root. Here you go, I bought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients you'll gather for your trial. Wait, I thought I fixed this before we started. I thought I fixed that webcam before I started. If you just tossed all the trial ingredients in your own bag, it would make for something all right. Something like a mellow mess, I guess. Let's go and find the first ingredient right away. <sighs> Can't believe we lost the Pokemon. I'm so, I'm so upset. All the trash talking I did. All right. Why? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. Jeez, that was Fomantis. I wonder if they can tell how strong you are. You can find Mago Berries around here, but you'll also find Fomantis living here, because they love Mago Berries too. If you take a Mago Berry that the Fomantis had their eyes on, they might not take it too kindly. When you're done gathering ingredients here, just let me know. Alright. Well, they won't battle me. I know they won't battle me. Alright, hold on. Here's what I need to do right now. Uh, I'm gonna put Curlia up front. These things don't have X, does it, do they? I'm gonna go with this one. Wait, 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 what did that say? A sweet and sour scent is wafting up from the sap dripping from the tree trunk. Yes. Put the Mago Bear in your forage bag. That's it. Okie dokie. So about that ingredient, you sure that's the one you want to grab? If any Pokemon had their eyes on it, you might be taking something the Pokemon thinks belongs to them, and they may come attack you later. I'll be fine. Then it's on to the next ingredient. Chop chop. Let's keep moving. Oh, 
Uh oh, I'm in trouble. You can harvest honey from the flowers that bloom here in the jungle, but you'll also find plenty of Pokemon where there are lots of flowers. When you find the ingredients you're sure you want, come show it to me, okay? Kiawei, why are you here? Oh, people say Pokemon are lured in by flowers and gather around them. Watch out when you see a bunch of flowers if you don't want to get attacked. These ingredients are important for this trial, but they're also very important to the Pokemon that live in Lush Jungle. This thick club I'm going to give Mallow to was the result of serious effort on the part of my Marowak now. Isn't there like a... Grass knot. I don't need no grass knot. Ah. <laughs> Muddy. Why do we have to lose muddy? Pleasant aroma. Yes. I'm gonna go with the honey from here. I think. I think. Let me look around real quick. Found a max revive. Thanks. You just rub it in my face. Um. What is this stone? Oh! That's the mossy rock. I was about to. I was like, that, there's something special about that. So about that ingredient, you're sure that's the one you want to grab? Any Pokemon have their eyes on it? I'll be fine. Dang! We got two people that don't like us. A big root, huh? You can find them near trees in the deep jungle that look kind of like Sudowoodo. But you'll also find that some of these trees that look like Sudowoodo are actually Sudowoodo. Good luck and watch out. When you find the ingredients you're sure you want, come show them to me. Okay, now here's the thing. We could have fun and just pick one of these that is pseudo Wudo, like this one, or like this one. No, I'm not using no X defense. Get out of here with that easy garbage. Or this one, or this one. Well, maybe not that one. Lana, what are you doing here? Are you here for Mallow's trial too? Why do you ask? Hey, Mallow asked me to bring her some fresh water, so here I am. I wanted to have a look around here for a big that I could use as a fishing rod anyway, though. Or like that one. But, oh shoot, I can't do that. No, I couldn't! Why would the default option be no? Like, I get it. Because most people would probably want to click no there. But it's like... It's like... I feel like if you're going to undo progress, there should be a are you sure? But then again, I also feel like if there was an are you sure, I would probably be like, oh, that's stupid. Why is there an are you sure? Yes, I'm sure I clicked the stupid thing. So anyway, what I was getting at is, I could have fun and click one of these actual pseudo Wudo, but instead I'm going to click this one. Because I really don't want to mess with a pseudo Wudo. I really don't want to mess with a pseudo Wudo. Oh, I'm so glad I just checked this. That was going to be a major throw. That was going to be a major throw if I didn't check that. Alright, I'm ready now. Yes, that's the one I want to grab. Hi, Domino. That's what I like to see. Since you've got all the ingredients, let's head back to the entrance.
<laughs> I love Pseudo Uno. <gasps> a turd twig! I found a turd twig. I found a turd twig. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Let me check the ingredients you got for me. Let's see that mango berry first. I caught a turd twig. This turd twig sucks. I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna save my PP, because you never know. And I should be oko in these. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Fomantis shouldn't be able to live up to this. Oops, you went and took the Mago Berry that Fomantis had its eye on, didn't you? Alright then, let's put this Mago Berry in the pot and... There! We pour in the fresh water that Lana brought us. Next up is the honey. Kaka! What is that name? Its name is Fomantis. Why does it sound Kaka? What is that? What, you think you're strong? You think you're strong, love Fomantis? Oh, that's cute, you take your dog Oh, you're level 21. Alright, I'm gonna use the fire frame. Just to be safe, because I really need to go into this gym battle full health. I really need to go into this gym battle full health. Because last time we had an issue with that. If you recall. Well, Flamenta sure does love its honey. Now we mix the honey, uh, we mix the honey and using the thick club that Kyoe brought along. This is such a weird scene. And last but not least, the big root. And finally, it's finished with one last pinch of my super special secret spice. This is so weird. This is such a weird moment. Ta-da! The super mouse special. It's all done and smells delicious. Unique aroma begins, to aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Bring it on. I ain't afraid. Ooh, I found a chim char. I found a chim char. Let's catch this chim char. There is only one thing to do at a time like this. It is time to scoot back. It is time to click once. It is time to click twice. It is time to click three times. X scissor? Nah. Not today. Hit it! Blast them. Blast them. By the way, I caught a chin char. I this Chimchar sucks. Alright, are we gonna Oko? Are we gonna Oko? Are we gonna Oko? Are we gonna Oko? This might be my favorite of the standard animations. We did not Oko. Oh, no! No, 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 no! I know what you're gonna do. I know you're going to synthesis. Wait, I don't remember what this Kumfei does. Floral healing? Okay. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? This is the big turn. Synthesis again? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You keep using Synthesis, because eventually you're going to get burned, and then I'm really okay. Flower Shield? What does Flower Shield do? Defense Rose. Okay. I need this burn. I guess Ember could burn also. X Scissor, that's fine. X Scissor doesn't do a whole lot to me. In fact, X Scissor doesn't do anything. Okay, I've got to switch to Ember now, because now he's plus two. Okay. 
Can Ember potentially burn as well? Yes, perfect. Because I can take out this Comfey. I'm not worried about this Comfey. I mean, if this is all you're going to do, if you're just going to heal, this is going to be an easy win. I think. Oof, that did not do... That did not do a whole lot. Now you're going to use what? x Scissor? There's nothing. Go ahead, raise, raise the defense. Raise the defense. That's fine. Still have not gotten it. I'm gonna get the burn eventually. Come on, come on, Torcat. We practiced this just earlier. Just earlier, we practiced this. We just practiced this. See, an inexperienced trainer would take out the Kumfei because the Kumfei will die easier. But with this Kumfei, I'm not worried about anything. I'm really not. Because if he would have called in a cast form and the cast form used Sunny Day, then I would be concerned. I'd be really Oh! <gasps> you also boosted me! You're gonna use Synthesis. Yep. He also boosted me! He also boosted his healing, so... <laughs> also boosted his healing. Are we just stalling out? Oh, you know what I could have done that would have killed him? Okay, this is what sh this is what I should have done. I should have started the battle with a... Uh... I should have started the battle with a... Fake out. And waited until this thing used its, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go for the kill. I'm gonna go for the kill. This is scary! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on! Yes! Yeah! Intimidate, intimidate Tora Cat. Intimidate Tora Cat. Intimidate Tora Cat. All right, you're, you're gonna go. You take a break, Tora Cat. Come on back. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Let's go for a little double hit. Yeah, it doesn't have any. It doesn't have any uh, damaging moves. If it did, it could have just double teamed me and finished me off. That would have been bad. It's a fairy type. I, I could have, you know, I could have done. Oh no! I'm gonna have to do two more. Anyway, I could have done uh, Torcat finishing this off, but Torcat's already high enough level. Let's just spread this experience around a little bit. Because I haven't been able to use Pinsir in a while. It's super lame. Yes! Four trials down. Means we got four left. Wow, Domino, you're even stronger than I thought. You truly, you totally, uh, you really drew the best out of your team. You even quieted down that Lurantis, the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. You battled your way through the Pokemon living here in the jungle to get me the ingredients I need. You and your toy cat there make a fabulous team. Oh, yes, even back at Wella Volcano Park, my Marowak didn't stand a chance. He did the Iraq with me that I had trained so carefully. Well, it looks like you cleared all three of Akala's trials. An amazing trainer like you who even cleared my super hard trial definitely deserves this. We have defeated... Grass, fire, and water. The Akala Trials. Let me show you.
show you how to use the grass type Z move. You go like grass. Okay, here, watch me. Since you've cleared my trial, Domino, why don't you try raising some Pokemon from Lush Jungle? Here, have some nest balls. I'm just so proud of. I'm so proud of. Uh, huh? Hey, Lorantis didn't finish its food. Well, can't let it go to waste. Lana, Kiawe, you guys should have some. Huh? Oh, uh, um, I'm I'm pretty full right now. I uh just ate a berry. Yeah. And, and that food you cooked is suited to Pokemon taste buds, right? I think it's probably best to save it for when Lorantis wants some more. You, you think? Olivia always says she thinks it's delicious. I think people would enjoy food cooked for a totem Pokemon too. Your guys is lost. Well, I guess I'll just go take this to Olivia. See you around, Domino. Oh, what's with that sweet smell? I smell drifting my way. Could it be a tasty Mallow special? Ooh, I have not done his voice in a while. I heard you clear Mallow's trial, yeah? All right then, I have a present for you. This little TM right here is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. A steel type move, just in time for the rock type trial. There will be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get on over there with extreme speed. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. Guess I should congratulate you on clearing all of uh, clearing all three of Akala's Island Trials, too. Congrats! Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's Grand Trial. Olivia's an expert user of Rock-type Pokemon. You're going to want to catch some Grass-type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the Grand Trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah, but just ask Rotom if you need some help. Woo! Wait. Are we okay? Oh! Torcat barely living. Torcat barely living. Alright. Trumby, thank you for rejoining. It's really between Sneasel and Rockruff. They're both, they've both been trained. They've both been um, bred. This will be good against psychic types, ghost types, ground types, grass types, flying types. This will be good against, well, right now, grass types, water types, uh, flying types. I mean, a lot of stuff because of those elemental fangs. I don't know. I don't know what to do. 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 I guess that means we go with a team of five for right, for right now. I've got to decide, and I can trade one up over the weekend. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Uh, but let's see here. To finish up our episode, I think there's only one thing to do. There's only one logical thing to do. And that is to run back in the lush jungle. And we're gonna run this way, and we're gonna oh, skirt. We're gonna run this way. Now I don't. Does Lana's trial make you go into all of the areas of this place? Pretty sure there's. Yeah. I don't know what that spot is supposed to be, but it's a very obvious hidden item. And then I know that there's an item right there. I found an actual big group that I can use. What's the point of this area? Okay. Oh! I just ran right past it. Alright, but back here is supposedly... Oh! Another Turtwig! They're actually spawning a lot of starters right now. 
But this is gonna be our encounter. Oh no! Oh, perfect. A Trumbeak? Sure. You know, I was just thinking to myself. I was just thinking to myself that I forgot to uh, heal. Wait, what did that say? Garbage! I have yet to find a good... Don't do this. Don't do this. You're a Trumbeak. I was about to say, you don't need any help. Level 22? Get with the water pulse. Perfect. That actually works for me! Yes! Actually, this is probably one of the worst things that you can encounter in Wonder Trade. Because <laughs> it's like... It's already evolved. What the heck are you gonna do with it? Whoever gets this Trumbeak, I am I am sorry. It, it's not my fault. All right, Tori Cat, you gotta calm down. All right. There we go. Wonder Domino. And to finish up the episode, let's head to Festival Plaza. Trade. Wonder trade. Yeah. Wonder Trade. Bold nature. Someone will eventually find use for him, or he will forever wonder. Woo! Excuse me. I almost sneezed, and I was like, wait, I have a mute button that I can press. All right, what do we got? Anything good? Look at, look at this garbage. Look at this garbage. Look at this garbage. It was so garbage that the Ekans disappeared. From the United Kingdom. It says, how are you? Because he's comfy. Comfortable. What you, what you got for me, Mr. Comfortable in New England? Star sent over Torchic. Okay, I see you. Thank you for Torchic. Wait. Why did it not register to my Pokedex? Oh, because I don't have. I don't have it in my Pokedex. Impish Nature with Speed Boost. Speed Boost is nice. I think Impish Nature. Impish nature, lower special attack raises defense, so that's not, I mean, that's nothing super exciting, but it's nothing bad. I mean, that's a Torchic. Anybody complaining about a Torchic? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think, we don't complain about Torchics out here. So, in the next episode, because this is definitely where we're wrapping up today's episode. In the next episode, there's one trainer. Admittedly, I am scared to take him on. But I think we are high enough level now that we can. So we'll take him on at the start of the next episode. Uh, and then we're going to make our way to uh, the Dimensional Research Lab that we've been instructed to go to. And then Grand Trial Time, probably not for a few episodes. We probably have a, a, a little while, just a little while. Uh, but I've got to decide Sneasel or Rock Ruff. I've got to decide which one. I've used both. 
Oh, the garage door is about to go, so I should wrap up. If you enjoyed today's episode of our Ultra Sun Wonder Lock, wait, I need to heal. If you enjoyed uh, this episode of our Ultra Sun Wonder Lock, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Uh, leave me a comment on if you know which of the two new team members that we're considering should we add. Um, and again, thank you so much. Um, truly, if, if you just clicked on the video, I appreciate it. If you made it all the way through the video, that's I appreciate that even more. If you want to hit the thumbs up and like, I would appreciate that even more. But we'll see you next week with more Ultrasound Wonder Lock. Until then, have a blessed day.